Hi, welcome back to the table. Today, after Christmas, I'm gonna we uh, received Frosty the Snowman, uh, one of the Funko games. I'm gonna show you real quick how it works. Uh, this is probably we've only played two so far, so not much. But this is probably by far the lightest one. However, one of the hardest ones. I've only played it just a handful of times, and uh, we can't seem to do very well. Again, we're probably just not that good. Uh, here's the game in the box. So you get a box and a lid. Uh, complaints. The box is so good, it's tight to get out. Nice sturdy box. Nice packaging. So in the game, you're going to get cards. And the objective tiles. There's six of them. Not five of them. And basically what you're trying to do in this game is get these kids... There's a line of kids. This game reminds me of Parade in a bit. Parade's a little bit more of a game. And you're trying to get these kids down here. Let me zoom in just a bit. In a specific order. For example, if we're doing this tile, you got to get the pink, the red, the yellow, the blue, the purple, and the green. In that order. And then once you accomplish that, then you've done that one and you go to the next one. And on this one, you're trying to get yellow, green, purple, pink, red, and Blue or lavender or that color, that color. So the kids all start numbers. So they all flip over and you'll put them one through six. So they all start in the same way. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then they'll flip over. So this is their starting order. They always start the same way. Uh, so back out. You'll have your cards. They come in two faces, face one and face two. So you'll take your face one and face two, separate them. Face one and face two, shuffle them. And then you'll stack your face one on top of your face two. And then you got your drop pile. And then the drop pile goes in, put it off to the side in this super nice frosty tile which is just there for flavor so that's your stack of cards now rules are real simple basically uh three four pages of that three uh two to four players and it tells you right here for two players you will draw three cards for three to four players we all play with two cards so i'll just set up a two-player game real quick since this is pretty much all we've been playing uh so we'll get our three cards. They're all face up. It's a cooperative game. We're all together. We're trying to accomplish. You'll set up your goal either three, four, or five tiles. The most we've ever done so far is just three. And uh, or you can just like we've been playing too. It's just we'll keep going until we run out of cards. Once we run out of cards in this deck, the game's over. And we'll see how many we make before that runs out. So the way it's nice for little kids is you'll be able to see what's on the table and you can make decisions of what cards to play. So for example, here I'll have my three here. The other player will have their three here. And then on your turns, you basically take one action. You can move a kid, you can swap, or you can discard. So to move a kid, you'll basically just give up that card. So here we're giving out the pink and you'll move the pink kid either one forward or one backwards. Same thing here. We'll move the kid one front or one back. If it's in the back, it only can move forward. It can't. It does not wrap around. You can also get rid of cards. So cooperatively with another player, you can say, well, we'll swap the yellow with the green. So I'll take a yellow from one player, the green from the other, and then we'll take the yellow and we'll swap them out. And then these cards get discarded. And then you all draw a card. You basically always have three cards with uh, three to four players. They'll have two cards. And then it's the next player's turn. And the next player might say, uh, we'll swap again. We'll swap the, yeah, uh, uh, you know what? We'll swap. Let's say we need the yellow on the front. So we can swap. We don't have a red, so we can start moving the yellow forward. So we'll give up the yellow. And the, the yellow starts moving forward a little bit. Now, swapping, we found, is the most efficient way to move these guys around drastically. Otherwise, you'd have to move the yellow this way, this way, this way. until so he's up here on the first position that you need here. We do have uh, the wild card here. 
which I'm drawing a blank, and that is da, 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 the Hocus Pocus. That is your wild card. Your Hocus Pocus helps you in the game. Uh, so we'll have three. So then he re replenishes back to three. Then it's this player's turn. And we're basically trying to get this here, the red here. So if we had a red and a yellow, we could do great. Problem is he's got the yellow and the Hocus Pocus. So the game goes like that. You can just keep swapping kids. Let's say we wanted the pink, for example. This card, that. We want to move him up in the fourth position. Now he's on the third. So you're going to keep doing that until you have made that pattern. Once you've made that pattern, you've completed that tile, put it away, and then you go to the next pattern. And you keep doing this until you try to do three, four, or five. Three is the easy, just you know, back here. Four is the medium, and uh, uh, five is the hardest one. Uh, the last action you can take is just discard all your cards to draw three new ones. If you absolutely must. Again, you're running out of that deck a lot quicker. And this one replenishes. And then you just keep doing this over and over again. Until you have... Let's just split right here. Do it like that. Until you have uh, accomplished three of these tiles. Again, for example, on this tile. Purple. We got to get the purple here. Uh, let's do this way. Uh, the blue here. The red here. The yellow here, the green here, and the pink here. Just the same pattern. Basically, all you're doing is pattern. Uh, it is a four plus, uh, four plus. Uh, eight just far enough. I think that's appropriate. Uh, you might even be able to do three. Again, there's no reading here. It's just uh, matching colors. Cards are great. Rounded corners. Good quality. No need to sleeve these cards like some of the other ones we play only because the sleeving cards you need uh, is for hidden information. You don't want to bend and stuff. So this one doesn't much matter. And again, that is Frosty the Snowman. Uh, one I highly recommend for families, younger kids with us. It's probably going to be a pass. We'll just go ahead and give this to another family or take it down to the game store and give it away. But uh, again, one I would recommend. Very inexpensive game. There are two more, I believe. We haven't tried the uh, Christmas Vacation Gremlins. And I believe that's it. Uh, Christmas vacation. I'll be trying this out over this weekend, I hope. And uh, that was it. Frosty the Snowman. Thanks for watching. There's the quick overplay. Bye.